So when I first came to Adelaide, I just didn't know where to stay, so I stayed in Urbanist for like one year. Then after that, you know, my friends asked me, oh, do you want to stay with me? Do you want to rent a house with me? So yeah, my friends, they did all the jobs for me. They did everything for me, so it was easy for me. And also, I, I just came back from Korea because I had to like go to the army. Yeah, and I didn't know where to stay as well. And one of my friends, he he told me there's a spare room in his house. So yeah, it was really easy for me to find uh, my accommodation. Um, I don't think it was that hard to source an accommodation because it was pretty much there. You know, just search Adelaide accom student accommodations. It's everywhere. There's a Tira and Uni Lodge as well. I think the difficult part for me was choosing which one would suit me the best and which one would be close to the uni or which location will um, get me the accessibility to run the mall, to Chinatown, yeah, and also the safety as well is what I considered. Accommodation wise, um, it wasn't really hard for me because like I, the first thing I thought was um, I'm really new here so I might just as well just get a university accommodation. I think it's hard to find a good uh, accommodation because um, when I first came here, uh, luckily um, there's a urbanist like it's a brand new accommodation, the urbanist in um, North Terrace. So uh, and very lucky my agent do recommend me to that building because it's brand new. But I reckon most accommodation after let's say one to two years, it start to get old and it start to like a bit messy in the accommodation and because if you have never been to um, Adelaide you have no idea on how it looks like and obviously all the pictures on their website are when they first built their accommodation it was so new and most of the time I, I reckon um, the accommodation itself looks different from what's in the picture and I do know a lot of people that fall into the trap so, um, but I think it's easy for you to get an accommodation, but it's not easy for you to find a really good one. It was not hard finding a place, but it was, it is hard to find a place. What you're looking for is, uh, you know, sometimes you don't find the right match. you right. You want the right people to be around you. That's one, one challenging thing. Finding place is not difficult. Finding the right people is difficult. So yeah, that is challenging. Mm. And would you say you like prefer, I guess, uh, living alone or living with people, especially now that uh, I guess you've, uh, whilst you've been in Adelaide, you've just been like living with others. Would you say you prefer just having your own company when you come home, or you don't mind if there's some other housemates? I don't mind having another housemates because it's always you know give somebody to have you have somebody at home you, whom you can talk to. Even though people talk very less here and you don't have much places to go about and even if you do, um, you know, you don't have the company to go. So yeah, I think it will be better if I have somebody at home and I can go and just talk to them. It is quite hard to find a, like a fully furnished place where you don't have to buy like uh, furniture and stuff. So it took us like uh, three months to find like our current house because that's the only place that pro that's fully furnished and is in our uh, budget as well as uh, it can accommodate four people as well yeah so I'll say it's quite difficult for uh, to find a house now especially because since like everyone the COVID restriction has lifted and everyone is coming back to like start studying or like working here so yeah it makes it a bit difficult to find a nice house but uh, if you want to find a house in the city, yeah, it, it is quite hard and much more expensive. So, but outside of the city, yeah, it's quite okay, I would say. Yeah. I think I prefer living with people, but not too many people. Like, because back in Urbanist, like, there were like seven people in the house. It was too noisy, like, I couldn't really sleep at night. But I think three to four is just perfect. Yeah.